For today's video, we are going to talk about the discriminant of a quadratic equation. And when we say discriminant, it is a radicand or expression under the radical sign of a quadratic formula. It is denoted by capital letter D and it can be used to determine the number of real number solutions to a quadratic equation. And the formula for the discriminant that is D equals B squared minus 4AC. If the discriminant is greater than 0, the quadratic equation has two distinct real number solutions. If the discriminant is equal to 0, the quadratic equation has one real number solution. And if the discriminant is less than 0 or if it is a negative number, the quadratic equation has no real number solution. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to determine the discriminant of a quadratic equation. So let's start and let's have an example. On this set of example, we are going to find the value of the discriminant of each equation and we are going to determine the number of real number solutions. On number 1, we have 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 equals 0. So to determine the number of real number solution, let us find first the discriminant. So let us identify the value of a, that is 2, b, that is 5, and c, that is and the formula for discriminant, that is D, equals B square minus 4AC. So let us substitute the value of A, B, and C. So B, that is 5. So we are going to have 5 square minus 4 times A, that is 2. And C, that is also 2. So let us have 5 square, that is 25. And then negative 4 times 2, that is negative 8. And negative 8 times 2, that is negative 16. And 25 minus 16, that is 9. So the discriminant is equal to 9. So therefore, D is greater than 0. That means we have two real number solutions. And this will be our answer. On number 2, we have 9x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. So just like an example number 1, let us identify first the value of a, b, and c. So the value of a, that is 9, b is negative 4, and c is 3. So the formula for discriminant, that is d equals b squared minus 4ac. So b, that is negative 4, so we are going to have negative 4 squared minus 4 times 9 times 3. And to simplify, negative 4 squared, that is positive 16, and negative 4 times 9, that is negative 36, negative 36 times 3, that is negative 108. And 16 minus 108, that is negative 92. Since the discriminant is a negative number or less than 0, so therefore we have no real number solution and this will be our answer on example number three we have 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 equals zero so the first thing that we're going to do is to find the value of the discriminant and in order for us to do that let us identify the value of a that is 4 b that is negative 12 and c that is 9. And the formula for the discriminant, that is D, equals B squared minus 4AC. So let us substitute the value of A, B, and C. So the value of B is negative 12. So this will be negative 12 squared minus 4 times the value of A, which is 4, and C, that is 9. Negative 12 squared, that is 144. Negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. And negative 16 multiplied by 9 is negative 144. And 144 minus 144, that is 0. Since the discriminant is equal to 0, that means we have one real number solution. And this will be our answer. For example, number 4, we have 10x squared minus 4x equals 8. 
Since the given equation is not written in standard form, the first thing that we're going to do is to write this equation into standard form. So let us have 10x squared minus 4x, and let us move the constant on the other side of equation, and this will be negative 8 equals 0. And then, let us identify the value of a, that is 10, b is negative 4, and c is negative 8. And the formula for the discriminant, that is d, equals b squared minus 4ac. The value of b is negative 4, so this will be negative 4 squared minus 4 times a, that is 10, and c is negative 8. Negative 4 squared, that is positive 16. Negative 4 times 10, that is negative 40. And negative 40 multiplied by negative 8, that is positive 320. And 16 plus 320, that is 336. So the value of the discriminant is 336. At the same time, it is greater than 0. That means we have two real number solutions. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.